guys, it's Star. Welcome to the Flip Ups Hippos YouTube channel. Today we will be unboxing a mystery box of plush. This is part two. I already did part of this box in another video. And I had bought two boxes from the same place and unboxed the first box with Robert Lai on this channel. So at the end, I will have both of those videos pop up at the top for you. And you can go see what else I've unboxed. I got two boxes. One was 75 pounds of regular and small sized plush. One was 50 pounds of extra large plush. $299.98 all in for both boxes. And that included shipping straight to my door. They are from American Thrift, which I will link in the description box down below for you. And without further ado, we're going to jump right on into the plush. Um, this will be the last unboxing for this box. I don't think I'm going to get very far with just two videos. It's about a four, four and a half foot tall box full of 75 pounds of plush. And they really pack it in there. It's like vacuum packed. Like some of them you can see look squished. You have to flush them, fluff them. Don't flush your plush. You have to fluff them back up. There are so many in here. Um, and I'm trying to make these videos, you know, not overly long, maybe a half an hour. Um, maybe I'll be, maybe what I'll do is just do these two videos, photograph the plush that I got out of them, and then come back later and unbox the rest. We will see how it goes. This is a giraffe. I bet you all knew that. This is from the Bear Factory, which is a pretty good brand, so I'm excited about him. I've got a tiny little zebra. This looks like he's from Madagascar. It says his name is Marty. Um, I'm pretty sure he's from Madagascar. Right, guys? It's Ty, and all it says is Marty. Come on, camera, focus. I'm pretty sure. If it's not from Madagascar and you know, let me know. This is a Thai Blizz. I think this is this was one of the Happy Meal Thai buddies. Hopefully there will be some more in there and I can make a little lot. If not, there's been a lot of tiny like tigers, lions, and leopards. Oh my. <laughs> there weren't any bears. But there's been like a lot of tiny elephants. Like little jungle themed animals. So I might make a lot of jungle animals. This is an octopus. Oh, he's weird feeling. Somebody put scotch tape all around his tag so they could put their price on there. That is a bummer. I mean, this beanie baby is probably only worth 10 bucks anyway, but this is Toy Factory LOL Surprise. So I like the LOL surprises. They're kind of lower in bread and butter, but they don't take that long to sell. This is baby starters. I love plush mint for babies. You can use all the great keywords. Um, she looks, you know, dirty. So we're going to put her over in the pile. I have two piles going behind me. One is to spray down with awesome and one is to just stick right into the washing machine. For more details on that, watch the first video. I did a little more talking about how I clean plush. This has a faded tag, so I'll have to list him brandless because I don't know who he is. Um, he's cute. He's dirty. He needs a bath. Into the bath pile. Next up, we have, see, I don't like when they do this. This is my only complaint about this place is that they use a lot of staples. And they put their tags around their tush tags, which I actually prefer that over in their clothing or in their ears because I had some damage on some plush. Um, Animal Adventure, good brand. He's he's going to go through the wash. He just I, White animals kind of always don't. They look dingy to me. I don't know. They feel like they need a bath. This is Gallery. You can see all the hair and the fluff from the animals floating around in the air. So if I itch my nose, I apologize. Um, I did take a Claritin before I started filming. That's my trick, but it's still going to bother me. Gallery. He's uh, like a candy cane. That's probably some keyword I'll use is like candy cane plush, Christmas, holiday, and such. This is a generic plush. It's needs cleaned anyway. Into the spray pile. 
Next up, we have a petting zoo. So that is a part of Hershey Park. This is a mermaid. She's got some hair going on here. Do do do. And then we have an emoji. These aren't that great. So if he has more friends in the box and we can box them up together, I'm gonna run him through the wash um, and do like a, a lot of emojis. This is a really, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, people my age, do you remember them slap bracelets? <laughs> they were banned from my school. That's what his arms feel like, those slap bracelets. This is a Wild Republic, which is a good brand. It's an iguana. And I think he's meant to hang on to things. So that's cute. That is really cute. A weird, creepy doll. Hi, I'm Annabelle, and I'm here to haunt your house. Woo! She's going to need to go just in the washing machine. She doesn't need to spray with the awesome or anything. Um, but I'm going to clean her up. This poor rabbit has a good feet. Can't tell you what brand he is because, again, they've got their He's Hug Fun. They, like, put these on there. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. He's cute. I may even use Easter. He's got a little bow, so I may use Easter in his keywords. This one definitely is going to get Easter in their keywords, but I don't know why it's what's why the wires. I'll figure it out. Maybe it's supposed to hang. It's got these weird wires we'll figure it out i'll figure it out somebody will figure it out this is generic he's a bear this is an aurora i like aurora plushies this is an aurora rhino i'm a rhinoceros i'm kind of like a hippo but with a horn we have a green dragon um, I can't see the tag. And this is one of those I'm not going to just pull off gently. He may not be a dragon. He may be a pterodactyl upon the second look. See his little doohickeys on his wings? I think this is a pterodactyl. He has doohickeys. <laughs> Peppa the pig. She's got... Oh, she does. So she has some kind of electronics in her, but I don't know if she works. She snorts. Next up, we have a Valentine's Day elephant by Dandy. I love Dandy. This feels a little um, scruffy, for lack of a better term. So I'm going to run it to the washing machine, and maybe it'll help it fluff back out. We have a tiger head. This is neat. Um, Silly Slammers, number 72, Auburn. And then I can't read. The tag is faded. It's got some kind of sports team logo. Hey, help a nerd out. If anybody knows this logo or what the heck this is or what sport or what's going on here, let me know in the comments. It's not a Marvel character and it's not horror related, so I have no idea what's going on. I don't do the sporting things. Um, this has got some marks on it, so I'll spray her down with awesome. Wash her up. Give her a bath. This is a Valentine's Day plush. Bear. Oh, this poor baby. This poor baby has seen better days. Her face is so flat. Oh, my goodness. A poor baby. They fluff right back up. See? We're good to go. Remember these guys? He doesn't work. I'm like holding it to the microphone. Can you see them? Do you guys remember these guys? I thought he was going to talk. Yo, Carol, Taco Bell. He does not work anymore. I'll probably sell him as not working for 10 bucks. Someone will buy him. <coughs> then we have uh, one of the Paw Patrol dudes. I don't know this one's name off the top of my head, so I can Google Lint him, or if somebody knows, you can let me know in the comments. 
Um, a lot of times the Google Lens will pull these more popular ones right up. And I know a lot of the Paw Patrol guys. I feel like I've even sold this one before. Um, I just don't remember his name. Let's see. Um, we have a little wee farmer. I will save it, though, because I don't know what else. This box is so large, and there's so much in here. If I find a wee little farm girl and a wee little cow and a chicken, I could make a whole farm set and sell it as a lot. So instinctually, I'm going to hold on to it and see what I find as I get through the whole box. I mean, there is still so much flesh in here, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's an otter. Otters? Hands down are the cutest animals. They have the best faces. Number one. Number two is seals. And number three is hamsters. Prove me wrong. I sold one of these before. It's so tiny. It's like a Happy Meal Kids. Happy. It's a kids meal toy. Um, National Geographic Kids. And I think the last one I sold went for about 14 even for how small he is. Um, I'm going to put this guy in the washing machine because I think I might be keeping him. <laughs> He's so cute. I think I need an order to join the menagerie on my desk. Um, we have an eat more chicken. So I have never had one this small before. But when Keith, I'm going to run this through the wash just because it's a white plush. When Keith and I first started selling, when we used to go back to the bins and we were first building up our capital and trying to get as much as we could for as little to get more profits and build up our volume, we did start with the bins. Um, we found a bunch of these chickens, these cows I meant, but they were like this size and we found like a whole set. And so we sold, we, sell, we found so many that we were able to create an entire set and then we had doubles of some that we sold as singles. They sold really quick for good money. Um, that was like part of the beginning of my love of plush. Wasn't the first plush I ever sold, but it was the beginning. Here, see, here's another emoji. No, this is an angry bird. I wish I knew what I was doing some days. I'm so professional. This channel is great. Anyway, this is an angry bird. He's cute. He's unique. He's different. So he's pretty neat. Then we have uh, another. So there were several of these teddy bears. I think this is like the third one I pulled out of here. Just the generic brown bear. And a Yoohoo friend. Giraffe. He's magic. All right, next up, there's a sock monkey here. I'm truly trying to get, but he's really stuck in there. Oh, I got a purple one. I'm a huge fan of sock monkeys as far as selling them. I don't personally like them for my own personal self. They kind of creep me out a little. But if I did like them, I would be keeping this purple one probably. Uh, he's got a little bit of a stain on him, so we're going to put some awesome on him and give him a bath. Because some of them need baths. I'm really getting to where I'm having to pull. Oh, boy. This is a dog from Secret Life of Pets. It's Duke. But it is Ty, so. And I'm going to pull out one or two more. They're getting harder to pull out, so. I'll show you this Easter bunny whose face is completely smushed. Burp, burp, burp. Um, I don't see a tag, but that's fine because he's really cool with good keywords and stuff. He'll sell. Or she. She's got a pink bow on her head. All right. I'm going to pull out this guy. He is Aurora. Oh, <laughs> it's poor face. Oh, my goodness. Poor little guy. Um, and I'll see. I'm going to run him through the wash. I'll see if I can. Oh, yeah, one more. You guys all know who that is, right? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Was her name Clara? I want to say her name was Clara. Not Clarice, right? Clarice the Silence of the Lambs. She's got a couple of marks on her face. So I'm going to spray her down with Awesome and give her a bath. 
Um, so yeah, this is video number two. And I may be one fourth of the way into the box at this point. It's still over half full and everything that's left is just crammed in here. Like I'm having to really pull them out. So I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even barely a fourth of the way through this box. So he's cute. What I'll do is just put this, they come in, there's a bag inside that's twine wrap. I'll just put this bag down and put everybody I've shown you guys on top. And um, once those are all photographed, and I still have a lot of the other box left to photograph. So we'll photograph and um, put these away in our inventory system and the other box as well. And once I get through all of that, perhaps I'll come back and open the rest of the box with you guys. I like to do the unboxings, especially when they're mysteries. It's fun. It's exciting. There's the thrill. I just don't like to be here for an hour or two, you know, at a time. And I don't want to have... 12 of these videos come out all at once so we'll keep it to these two um, but I won't go any further into the box I'll photograph what I have and then um, come back so if you guys have any questions comments concerns about plush in general or anything that you've seen or heard about on this channel ever or reselling or whatever comment section is there for you guys I do answer all the comments Sometimes I get behind and I'm a little slow about it. Sometimes I'm answering them every day. There's really no rhyme or reason. It's just how busy I am. If you want a quicker response from me, it's always best to tag me in my Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can join for free. Down And there's a link down below or just search for us. Um, but you can also leave comments. That's good too. One thing I um, would ask that you guys do that really helps the channel out a lot is to hit the thumbs up before you leave and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell so you're notified when I put out new content. And until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.